hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on this video so today as you saw from the title we are just doing something simple and easy yet delicious so let me just tell y'all about these ingredients real quick y'all i had not gone to the grocery store uh that week so i was really trying to figure out what i can cook for dinner and as i looked through my pantry i saw all these ingredients and i was like hmm i can make some spaghetti so these ingredients that i'm using they are not what i typically would use but it actually turned out to be better than what i would normally do so here i'm just starting off with the uh chicken broth i'm going to let it boil before i put my pasta in now uh normally i would do all chicken broth but i didn't have as much so I did chicken broth and then I did uh, the rest water and then I just added a little bit more salt to uh, give it more flavor. Now since uh, I didn't go to the grocery store, like I said, the only veggie that I had to put in this recipe was onions. Uh, but typically I will use the onion as well as bell pepper, a green bell pepper and uh, a garlic clove. So once I get the onion chopped to my liking, I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of butter to uh, a frying pan. And then I'm going to allow that to melt just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the onions to the pan and just get the onions to cook just a little bit before I add the meat to the pan along with the onions. I don't let the onions get all the way uh, softened because like i said i'm going to combine the onions and the meat all together in the pan now i know some people when they you know do their veggies they may do they may go ahead and cook the onions all the way through and then cook the meat separately but i personally i personally choose to start the veggies off and then combine the veggies with my meat and then that way i can season my veggies and my meat at the exact same time so on this particular day, the only thing I had in my uh, freezer was a roll of ground turkey, which I just threw that in the pan there. And then I had a half a roll of ground beef. Now, typically I don't uh, combine these two meats really ever, uh, but it actually turned out, you know, good because... I'm the type of person I season my food really well, so you really wouldn't even have known that it was ground turkey in the in the spaghetti um, because that's just how well I season the meat. But like I said, typically I would just use one or the other, um, and then the other the only other meat that I would normally add would be uh, some type of Italian sausage, or sometimes it would be uh, acre sausage because my husband he likes that in his spaghetti. So the seasonings that I used on the meat was seasoned salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and I don't know if I did put it in or if I just didn't film it, but typically I would use some minced garlic because um, I did actually have some, so I'm not sure if I did put any in, not in or not. So for the cornbread, I just did um, homemade cornbread with one box of Jiffy only because I only had that one box. Typically, I would do two. So as you can see, I did the equal parts of the cornmeal and flour, which was one cup. And then I did, I think that was about two tables, two teaspoons of baking powder. And then I did uh, the one, the one raw egg. And then I also did the, the, um, 
vegetable oil. I think normally the recipe would cost for like one fourth cup, but I did maybe half of that because I also added butter later on. And then, like I said, I added the box of cornbread jiffy and then my milk and my teaspoon of salt or half a teaspoon of salt. And then my extra ingredients was um, adding sour cream, vanilla extract, and then I also added more sugar because, you know, I like sweet cornbread. So now with this recipe, um, the, the measurements that I use, I did on purpose only because I didn't want to make too big of a batch of cornbread because this was only for me and my husband. But typically if this was for, you know, more than two people, I would have doubled the ingredients. So that was about, um, I believe that was about two tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons of butter that I had melted in the microwave. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and butter my pan. Now y'all please don't judge me on how I buttered this pan. Listen, I had to do what I had to do. Uh, the butter wasn't cooperating with me, so I just used the tools that God gave me, my two hands. And we, we got that butter in that pan, okay? Now let's move on. So y'all can see right here what I was saying earlier. I didn't make a big old batch of cornbread. Um, I really could have used a smaller pan to make the cornbread thicker. I wasn't thinking, but it was fine. Um, it just made the cornbread uh, stretch a little bit more. Uh, but it came out, you know, the pieces were thin, but had I put it in a smaller pan, you know, I could have got a thicker consistency in cornbread, but it was fine. Uh, it was, it was just enough for me and my husband. So as y'all saw in the previous clips, I put some water in this pot and I allowed it to boil and I also rinsed off the corn. Y'all, this corn is the freshest corn I have ever tasted. I definitely recommend y'all to try it out if you haven't ever had that brand. If you saw my previous vlogs and you know where I got that corn from, so go check it out if you haven't already. So if y'all want some good pot of spaghetti, you got to have some bum spaghetti sauce. And for years, I would not do anything special to my sauce. I would use it straight out the can, but I have learned to add ingredients to it. And as you can see here, I'm using marinara sauce. And that's a can of tomato sauce in a can of Rotel. Typically, I would use regular spaghetti sauce, but from now on, I'm just going to stick with the marinara sauce because it tasted so, so much better. And if I had it on hand, I would also have added some tomato paste. So just adding a bit of ketchup, and then I'm going to also add in some Italian seasoning and some red pepper flakes. You can add more or less, it's depending on your taste. Then I'll add uh, a spoon of that garlic, minced garlic, and then a little bit of salt. 
and then also i believe i did yeah some Worcestershire sauce and some brown sugar um y'all as you can see i didn't measure anything i'm just going by uh you know i'm just going by my eyes and then once i let everything marinate and sit then i'll go back and taste it and add whatever i feel is needed and then that was just some parmesan cheese that i added as well and yeah this sauce was really really good i really enjoyed it i think this is going to be my new way of making my spaghetti like most of these ingredients i already do use the only thing that was pretty much new for this ingredient was the marinara sauce but as you can see, I'm just um, combining the noodles to the sauce as well as the meat. And this is pretty much where I stopped. I used to um, put the, after I combined everything in this pot, I would put it in a pan, sprinkle cheese all through it, and then sprinkle cheese on top and then pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes. But my husband prefers for me to just leave it in the pot and then add cheese on it once you know I make his plate. Um, so that's the reason why I didn't do it this way, but feel free to, you know, pop it in the oven if you want to. And now lastly, for the corn, since it's like the easiest dish uh, for this whole meal, um, after the corn boiled to my liking, I drained the corn and then I just added some milk. I added some sugar and I added some butter just so I can get the corn really good and sweet. And then I just let it simmer for a little bit and that was it for the corn on the cob so y'all that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed uh me making this meal i know everybody for most for the most part know how to make uh spaghetti but i just wanted to show you guys my simple way of doing things and feel free to try this recipe out so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you didn't like it hey thumbs it down just engage also comment down below and most importantly y'all subscribe to my channel thanks so much for watching i'll check y'all in the next video bye